Hi, I'm Dr. Tutar and I'm going to explain my recent review article briefly. Heat shock proteins are highly conserved protein family and are expressed in response to external and cellular stresses including malignancy, infections, drugs, heat, oxidative stress, fever, inflammation and hormonal stimulation. Therefore, expression level of HSPs is significant biomarker for many diseases. HSPs are emerging as important molecules in the development of cancer and as key targets in cancer therapy. These proteins enhance the growth of cancer cells and protect tumors from treatments such as drugs or surgery. However, new drugs have recently been developed, particularly those targeting HSP-90. In unstressed eukaryotic cells, HSP-90 is abundant and conserved protein which constitutes 1-2% to of the total cellular protein. HSV-90 plays an important role in biochemical processes. To perform these functions, HSV-90 requires ATPase activity and N-terminal domain contains high affinity ATP binding site. ATP hydrolysis induces large conformational changes for interaction with cochaperons and substrate proteins. C-terminal domain has a conserved EEVD motif and the dimerization interface which are responsible for binding of cochaperons. Middle domain is involved in oncogonic silent protein binding and this binding increases the ATPase activity of HSP90. HSP90 is overexpressed in tumor tissues and is required for growth and survival of cancer cells. To date, more than 200 HSP90 silent proteins were identified, such as cell cycle regulators, transcription factors, transmembrane tyrosine kinase, steroid receptors, mutated signaling proteins, chimeric signaling proteins, and these are associated with signaling pathways in tumor development. These silent proteins play important roles in apoptosis, metastatic diseases, angiogenesis, and immunoregulation processes. HSP90 inhibitors lead to degradation of oncogenic silent proteins and therefore inhibition of HSP90 has emerged as an important therapeutic strategy which affects on multiple oncogenic pathways in tumors. Currently, clinical trials of 15 HSP90 inhibitors are proceeding for the treatment of wide range of cancer types, including lung, breast, leukemia, colon, melanoma, kidney, and prostate. Almost all of these inhibitors bind to ATP binding site and inhibit ATPase activity of HSP90. Recent studies have shown that compounds can bind to C-terminal domain of HSP90 and disrupt HSP90 dimerization and degrade oncogenic silent proteins. Please go to Current Proteomics website, Volume 11, Issue 1, for more details. Thank you very much.